As promised, my Fluke 12 has been acting up for the past, uh, I'd say, three weeks now. It keeps turning itself off, and uh, right in the middle of a measurement, it'll just go out. So we're going to take it apart and see what's wrong with it and fix it. As we saw in a couple of the prior videos, uh, my Fluke meter is giving me some trouble, so I figured I'll take it apart and see if we can figure out why it's shutting off. It could be a bad switch. Haven't done anything to this one in a while, so it's bound to act up. So let's pop this one apart quickly and see whether it's just a switch or something that's causing it to go off. Seems that I can just push a button or flick the switch back and forth a few times and it comes on. So I'm hoping it's something simple and that I don't have to use my other meter as I kind of got used to this one and the features that it has and how it works and I, I like it. Although I do have a I do have a brand new one sitting somewhere around here. Ready to go into action someday. Got a fluke one, I think it's a 175 that I bought recently, so it will get put into service at some point. Okay, these meters come apart fairly easily. Just pop out the little clips and the circuit board should lift out. It's a little clip on either side here. Okay, be careful with these thin film uh, resistors because they will break if you're not careful. So I'll just pop out the clip and lift the board out. The board will lift out just like this. going to be putting a new battery in my phone uh, next week so I'll be doing a, a video on that. Uh, big problem with these is these uh, these what do they call these uh, zebra connectors I think where they they pass the signals from the board here through to the display. Uh, the switch is right here on this one and I'm thinking maybe this switch is where the fault is lying. The switch will come apart. Or is it a connection? It might be the switch itself. It might not hurt to take the switch out and just clean it up outside of the unit itself. I'm just going to uh, unsolder it and take the switch out. You notice on here there's a spark gap in case the voltage goes too high in MOV. Yeah, pretty good protection on these meters and Fluke made their own silicon uses an NEC uh, driver chip from Singapore for the display driver All right, there's the NEC chip but Fluke have their own custom ASIC for doing the measurements and then your comparator is here. This is your thin film resistor decade. So I'm going to remove the switch and I'm going to give it a shot of cleaner and clean it up and then we'll put the switch back in and maybe that's the fault with it. I've had this meter for many many years I bought it I, I mentioned this before many times I bought it at a, one of the early ham flea markets I went to for I think twelve dollars and it's been a great little meter it's it's lasted me longer I think than any other meter I've ever owned it's 
been a, a real workhorse. I still can't get over how expensive fluke meters are. I was down at uh, RP Electronics there a couple weeks ago and just happened to notice that he had a fluke 175. I think it was a 175 or was it a 177. Anyway, he had one on display in a display case. Gee, that looks like the meter I just bought. I paid like $15. I think it was 15 bucks I got mine for off of uh, Facebook. So. I, I couldn't get over how much they, they still are new. They are just ridiculously expensive. Okay, there's the switch that I just pulled out of this unit. I'm just going to set the board aside. Let's see if I can pop this switch open and uh, possibly clean up the contacts inside it. The top must come off here somehow. It looks pretty dirty. I didn't want to just start spraying cleaner on the board here because I didn't want to get it on the, the circuit board because cleaner, of course, could can cause leakage, right? So I'm just curious as to whether I'd get the switch apart. Throw lots of light on it so I can see what I'm doing. I think the contacts must be in the bottom down here. I think it's just a, like a slide switch is all this thing is. But this bottom should pop out. I'm sure it's just held in place by little clips. If I can pop these clips in, I can probably take this thing apart and clean it up. Yeah. I bet you this will pop apart. That's providing that this is where the fault is. I don't know whether this is the fault or not, but I suspect that it's the switch is bad. Okay, there's the switch. There's a couple little, there's a couple little contacts that go on here. They appear to just slide over top of these uh, other contacts on here. So I'm going to clean these up and then uh, throw it back together. And hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. I think for this one I'm going to use Deoxid B100. We'll just put some onto these contacts and clean them up. Polish these up here. See how shiny they get when I polish them. It certainly looks cleaner than when I started and I got that much off, that much uh, um, oxidation off the contacts. These are silver, I believe. They're silver plated contacts, they look like it. And put a bit of deoxid onto the other side as well. the switch back together.
reinstall the switch onto the circuit board. And solder it back on and I'll reassemble the meter and see if the meter works. Solder the two outside pins first so that I can heat it up and push it flush with the board. I'll hold the rest of the switch in place so that I can do the other contacts. Switch kind of in the middle, along with the switch here. Put that in the middle. Snap it back together. Now the moment of truth. Is the meter going to work when I put it back together? Moment of truth. Is it going to work? It's not working at all now. Well, I went from a semi-working meter to a non-working meter. What gives? So we'll have to take it apart again and see what's what's not working. Oh wait a second. Might help if I snap it all the way together. Maybe it'll work now. Whew. And I have a display. Excellent. It even looks better than before too. Okay. Uh, maybe it's working. Let's put the screws in and I'll I'll, I'll do some tests and I'll, I'll check it for accuracy with my other fluke that you guys haven't seen yet because I've never used it. I've had it for like, I don't know, a couple months now. I think I got it back in January. I don't think I've even shown you guys it yet. It's so new that about the only thing I didn't get, they didn't get the box. Bought it from a guy out in Coquitlam who said his dad had been a ham radio and passed away. Um, and so it was part of his estate. He wasn't he wasn't here. I don't didn't know the guy. Just the, the son lived out here. And he said his, his dad was a ham operator and passed away last year and he ended up with all of his equipment and he was selling it. He was selling ham gear as well, but he was selling everything off. And I picked up the the fluke meter foam. I tried to get a scope out of him too, but he uh, wanted too much for the scope, so I, I didn't take that. So this is it. I mean, this thing is so new. It even still has, it even still has that on there. Uh, I got a manual with it too. I got the original manual with it. I mean, it's it's not like it, it's um, it's dirty, so you know what? It's not like it's someone just you know it's been sitting around. It has been used, but I don't think it's been used much. So let's check it out. So I'll check out the voltage reading first of all. 
So I've got both the meters going. I have my power supply set for 7 volts. And that says 7.02. And what does this other one read? And it reads 7.01. So I would say that uh, there. Uh, that kind of tells you right there that they're both the help of it, uh, if the leads will make a connection here. Come on, leads, both both leads get in there. Okay, so if I turn up the power supply, let's see if I can do this and hold the leads together so that they're both making a connection. So I'll turn the power supply up and we'll watch. Any questions? Like we're within one one hundredth of a volt. Not bad considering this is a brand new meter. Well, relatively. I don't know how old this meter is, but it's not, it, it can't be that old. It, it may be within five years. Five, six, I don't know when this meter came out, but I'm going to say it's probably within five years. And this meter is how many years old? This is probably, what, 25 years maybe? I've had it for, I've had it for at least 25 years. It's probably 30 years. It's old. Fluke 12. I don't know when it came out, but... But there you go. <laughs> it's accurate. It's accurate. We'll measure. Let's measure AC voltage too. We'll we'll do the two of them. I'll put them on the very ack, and we'll measure AC voltage. So here's my my very ack cable. I have to put them into AC mode for this, obviously. Uh, volts AC and volts AC. And I'm not making a connection, obviously. Well, one of the meters here is not making a connection. There we go. 120.5. Come on. Behave, both of you. Damn it. There we go. So if I turn the variac down. My light will dim down because my light is on the very act. 77.5. I better turn my light out before I crank this up. I don't want to blow it up. 150.5. hundred and so, yeah, we're, uh, we're good. Okay, so no problem with accuracy on it. It's every bit as good as it always was. And you know what that means? This one can go back in the box. Hang on to it until I need it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.